this is the box that the bag actually came in. It was, um, I'm not going to turn that side because I don't want to show my name and address, but it was a little bit smushed, a little bit, you know, like this. But anyway, it didn't, you know, uh, interfere with the integrity of the bag. This is the front. And so we'll pretend that we're actually doing an unboxing. All right, so I'm going to hold it down. There we go. And it came wrapped as usual in this uh, tissue paper. And of course, it also came with the uh, thank you card, Portland Leather Goods. Thank you card and also, oops, this piece right here. So this is what it came with and I'll put the box over, get it out the way. All right. Now let's get to the actual bag. So this is guys, this is the Hawkeye Satchel in the color Dakota. Um, and it's from the company Portland Leather Goods. So here we go. There we go. And ta -da, this is what the bag actually looks like. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can try to get a good, uh, let me tilt the camera up a little bit. So you can try to get a good idea of what the color looks like. The color is like a, um, if you're familiar with Coach, Vintage Coach, it's, a little bit like that um, the British tan as far as the color but as far as the leather itself the leather has a, a little bit of a brushed suede feel to it it scratches very easily see that but you can also just rub it off and it comes off so this is the bag the leather is really soft it's soft it feels so 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 good um, it does have this diamond shaped um, logo on here and uh, it is uh, put together with brass hardware. This is the side of the bag. It does also have uh, these brass um, buttons right here to kind of close them together. And then the side is, so I love the way they did the side, just kind of like a, a creased in a little bit to the side. Both sides are like that. The back of the bag is plain. There's not a pocket on the front or the back. And if I could um, make a suggestion to Portland Leather Goods, I would uh, Portland Leather Goods. I would ask them to please uh, put a pocket on the back. I think that would be really helpful. Um, so these D rings are on the back, and of course the strap attaches to the D rings on the back. And I think I went ahead and showed the bottom. Here's the bottom. And um, it really, it re it, it's very, very smooth. Really, really smooth. So you open up the flap. It's a button. And it is raw suede inside. And this button is really easy to open like that. A lot of times it finds itself shut, but sometimes it doesn't. So you'll just have to, you know, kind of play with it. All right. It does have, it does have the um, wall pocket that's just about the size of the bag itself. So it's a pretty generous pocket, pretty deep, and you can kind of put a lot in there. It also came with this beautiful, beautiful, um, shoulder strap and let me show you the other side other side is actually there's nothing on there it's just plain it's just a, a hole so let's go ahead and attach the straps to the bag so this 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 is the strap i believe it's about the website said it's about an inch but i i haven't measured it but i'm thinking it's a little bit wider than an inch and here is the uh, the brass hardware, and it actually has these. Um, this is the closure for the for the straps to attach the strap. And it also, I like that it has 
the piece right here that kind of holds the strap together so it doesn't just flop all over the place. So let's go ahead and attach the straps to the bag like so. Oops. Uh, there you go. And the other strap to the bag and I hold it down. There you go. So now we have the strap and I also I have it on the very last hole so that it hits me on my hip because I only like for my crossbody bags to hit me on my hip. I don't like it um, when it's just too long. So basically without anything in the bag, this is what you're looking at. This is what it looks like. It's I, I call it a messenger bag. It's more of a messenger bag. And I really love this color. I really do wish, if I could make another suggestion, I would suggest to uh, Portland Leather Goods to bring the, this bag in multiple colors, maybe sunflower, cold brew, honey, you know, those other fun colors or grizzly. I would love to own this bag in, um, in those fun colors. Right now, it only comes in the Dakota, which is this color. It comes in black and it comes in um, Canyon, but I believe the Canyon is actually not on the website right now. I think it's sold out. Um, you can still get this bag right now on the website. I believe the Dakota and the black are still available for sale. And I purchased this from the premium section of the, out, of the, of the website. Okay. All right. So let's get right into what fits in the bag. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so here we are. Let's go ahead and fill this bag up and see what actually fits. And I'll see if I can tilt my camera down a little bit. Okay, so I have, this is all I have here. You can see this is the contents of my bag. And this is all I carry on a daily basis anyway. So even when I'm carrying my tote, this is all I carry mostly on the, I may carry a, wa a water bottle from time to time. All right. So the first thing is my Portland leather goods. Um, this is the, it's like a pencil case. Not really. I forget the name of it, but this is in the color cognac and I've had this for quite some time. So I go ahead and I actually stick it so that the, the flat side is to the back of the bag. And I also have the pencil case in um, the color cold brew. I also did an unboxing of this um, on, the, on my channel. So I stick this on the other corner and it looks, let's see, it looks more like, 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 like this. There you go. It looks like that. And then I'm going to put my sunglasses. This is from uh, the company KMM and Co. And this is in, um, what is this? Autumn Harvest. Yes. And I will stand this up in here. Um, and I have my mini pochette from Louis Vuitton. And I'm going to lay it down um, so that it's, not standing up but actually laying down and the reason is because when i'm when i need to get in there i don't have to actually take it out i can just zip it open and get what i need now i have my portland leather goods zip around wallet in the color kiwi and this is going in the back pocket right here i will stand it up like that and i've got my um I'll stand that up and I've got my mask. I put that also in the back pocket and I have got my Portland leather goods um, wallet. This is a little wallet. It's in the color um, honey. I've had this for quite some time. And as you can see, it's patina beautifully. It's very, very beautiful. It's very, very handy. I really like this. So this is uh, my wallet and I put that in the back pocket like I said so I have both of my wallets in the the card holder and the wallet I have in the uh, very back pocket 
And then I have my Louis Vuitton six ring key holder. And I usually will stick that back in the back um, where the where my sunglasses, where I have my sunglasses. So it's getting pretty full now. And I have my fan and I just kind of lay that on top. Like I just lay it on top like that, okay? So it's pretty full. You go ahead and it still will close. You can go ahead and just close it like that. Now when you do, it's, it's pretty full. So this is what it looks like. I don't like this look because it's too full. So I, what I normally do, what I've been doing is I've been not carrying the cold brew. Okay, so I've been leaving this out and that gives me room to sort of um, just kind of not have it too full. Now, I take that out and then go ahead and close it. I'm sorry, let me make sure that you can see this. Go ahead and close it and it looks a lot more relaxed. It doesn't look like it's just so stuffed it's about to bust. All right, there you go. This is the back. And this is pretty much how it hangs. It hangs very nicely on um, my side and it's very easy to get into. You can just get in, reach in and grab what you need. I find it very easy. I've been using it and I haven't switched out of it yet. I've been using it for almost a week now and I'm not even thinking about switching out of it. So that's it. That is everything that fits. All right, guys, so this is what I did. Uh, just in case you actually want to carry, if I really wanted to carry everything, including my cold brew uh, pencil pouch, what I would do was I did it a little bit different. I went ahead and I put my sunglasses, I laid it flat, and I stood up my Louis Vuitton mini pochette. Instead of laying it flat, I stood it up, and I also put my six ring key holder right up front and I'm going to put my um, fan. So now it's it closes and it doesn't look like it's super, super full. You can actually get away with this. So I just wanted to stop by and show you that little bit of change. So thank you all so much for tuning in. Um, again, this is my fake unboxing and it's also a what's in, what fits in this purse. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you have any comments, leave them below. Um, if you do enjoy my videos, please uh, subscribe to my channel. And if you do like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And I will talk to you next time.